Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the Be Better Golf Show, and this is my instructor and frequent guest on the channel, Monty Shinebloom. You can visit him at montyshinebloom.com. Monty, what I wanted to talk to you about today is um, I seem to be getting a lot better in my game, but what's going to really stop me from doing, doing well in tournaments, which will come up in the spring, is uh, about once or twice a round, and uh, you've probably seen this, like, in tournaments and stuff too. I have the shot that's like, I can live with bad shots and I can live with miss, you know, shots that are off even quite a bit, but I can't live with shots that are like left of left. Yeah, just extra. The, the totally horrible oh. shot that it will, if you're playing a stroke play event, you cannot, you cannot compete with those sure. shots in your bag. Sure. Um, you know, and I saw that, um, that, uh, little nine hole match you had with the guy, I'm sorry, I forgot his My name. swing evolution. Yeah, Christo. that guy. Yeah, yeah. Christo, yeah. We both played Awful. It was pretty bad. And and I actually had a club throwing incident in there. Sorry. You, you know everyone. what? Sometimes our emotions get the best of us, and you can you know. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean you're an English soccer hooligan. Right. You know? That's a great you know. So so let's let's look at that shot. Here's a replay of it, and the reaction. So uh, on that shot, for example, I I got so upset because there's water left. I know there's water left. I've only played the course a thousand times, and I'm trying to fade it off the water. I hit a dead solid pull draw that went into the middle of the lake. Right, it's yeah, mechanical. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I was watching your swing, and you know, bad habits, this is what people need to understand. Mm -hmm. Whatever bad habit you developed when you learned to play, you are going to fight that until you're 100 years old. Right, yeah. And Keep what going. I noticed that day that was worse than others was when, when your backswing lacks a little bit of depth, when your hands get a little too high, yeah. and not, you know, you don't want them low and behind you, you don't want them high and up and over, you want, you know, a proper balance of, of yeah. width and depth. When you're, when you lack depth and your sequence is a little off, you get here. This is gonna be a snap hook or a block off the planet no matter how hard you try. It's funny you say that because in my own kind of feelings and talking to uh, Chris Ryan on YouTube and some other people who have been on the show, I really do think that those one-off, one-around or one uh, or two-around horrific shots really do have to do something with my backswing. Absolutely. T tell See, me, tell me why. You know, Jack Nicklaus is famous for saying, you know, you don't hit the ball with your backswing. Why is the backswing so important? Why can it? Here, here's the deal. People too often treat the golf swing like a pin. Yeah. Oh, I got to be perfect at P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah. and my left arm has to be... The golf swing is like a window, you know? Big window. And yeah. you just got to be in the middle of it somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the problem lies is when your swing gets to a point on certain days where it's too close to the edge of the window, yep. you're on the verge of disaster at every moment. So, you know, I remember I had a really good friend, and the week before Q school, um, I, th I had a club throwing incident just like yours. Somebody famous said something about throwing stones. So. Right, right. What? So, I mean, I was at his home club, an extremely difficult course. I was six under par through 16 holes, mm -hmm. and I was just miserable all day long. And he's like, dude, you're six under. Yeah. And I'm like, it's off. Because you can tell I am on the edge. Yeah, sometimes every, 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 yeah. every swing. And I get up on the par three 17th hole, and the pin is left, and it's water all short and right of the green. Mm -hmm. I got stuck, and wiped it in the middle of the lake, 40 yards offline with a six iron after not really miss hitting a shot the entire day. And I let it fly, held on to it too long, and almost put it through a, a sliding glass door over the fence into someone's house. Yeah. And he couldn't understand how I could be so upset in the middle of playing so well. And I yeah. said, I knew. And the irony was, was the previous day I shot about 74, and I was happy all day long because I knew I was you know, good and in the, you know, in the middle of what I'm supposed to be doing. Yep. So that one or two bad shots around is when you're a little too vertical and your transition sequence is a little fast. You get up on a shot, you're a little uncomfortable. The tra transition sequence gets even more off and then you get a disaster. Right, because I've been golfing long enough, I'm athletic enough to be able 95% of the time to compensate for it. Right. But I'm not a, uh, you know. Right. So, so the object of practice, the object of swing changes, you know, the object of playing more golf, playing more tournaments, getting yourself in a comfort level, is moving yourself off the edge of the window and into the middle so you can make some mistakes and you're still, you know, confident. 
you know, yeah. and that, that kind of stuff yeah. doesn't happen. So what I was seeing in your swing was, yeah. is that, you know, your, your hands were working, you know, you were given a choice. And when your hands are up here and you fire really hard, your two choices are to be steep, which is what I've seen yeah. on your first few mm -hmm. swings here, mm -hmm. or you get to here and then you fire and then your hands drop behind you because you're trying not to be steep and that's when you get the snap hook. Okay. So 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 just, you know, it, it it's conceptually it's simple. Yeah. You know, your hands need to work a little deeper and a little more out. Okay? Okay. okay. Instead of okay, this is the this, thing this is the hard part. This is yeah. the hard part. Now, when I say you're steep and out, there's two different kinds of out. Because everybody's thinking, well, that's over the top. Right, yeah. correct. So, the over the top that I've seen, the very steep that I've seen from you, is where you get to here, okay? Yeah. Or here. Yeah. And then you go that way. Yes. That's not your, I, I mean, I, well, Monty, that's your hands going out. That's what you said he needed to do. Right. It's a, it, it, it's, it's a fine line and it's hard to, 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 to describe. But essentially, if your hands are working out with body rotation, that's going to be steep and over the top. Yeah. Okay? Okay. okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If your hands are working out in front of you, independent, right. before, if, the, if the hands are taking the proper angle to the ball, before you get that spin out, then the club is in the right place. So it's so here are the two differences. In the yeah, warrior go ahead. So, so let's say here you are, you're a little bit steep. Yep. Okay, you fire the body. That's like, you know, obviously an exaggeration, but that's trouble. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. you're gonna take a big divot. You're yeah. gonna hit it both directions. Okay. If you get your hands deeper, mm -hmm. then your hands work out that way. Yeah. Look where the club is. Right. Okay. The club and the shaft are on plane and behind your hands versus when you're up here. Now, that's a different kind of out. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it, 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 yep. people are watching this going, oh, okay, right. that looks, you're saying the same thing and you're moving differently. It's just mostly a shaft angle and, issue. And I have the feeling, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, that this feeling of the hands working out absolutely has to work in concert with my head staying back. Correct. Because if the my hands work forward. out and the head goes forward, it's not even worth working on anything you're, you're, else. You're yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just to be clear, so I've, I've said out for two different kinds of moves. Yeah. Just to be clear, there's the bad out, which is that. Mm -hmm. And then there's the good out, which is that. Right. Okay. Do that one more time. Okay. So there's the bad out, which, which in, in, my, in my understanding is that your turn is taking it out. And the good out is more of an out with the sequence. Correct. Okay. So, so yeah. it, 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 more than the, the, the two things that kind of distinguish it is wh how it happens in the sequence. Because people always think, oh, the hand's working out, that's over the top. But if you watch most great players and most great ball strikers, the hands work out as the club stays back. Okay. And then, so it works this way. So my hands get nice and deep, the hands work out, the club stays back, and it works out in front of me, as opposed to high hands fire the body, steep right. in the shaft, and you know, this is this is the one that everybody hates. Right. So that's how, you know, and, and quite honestly, quite often, that is more the out move that people will associate with over the top. And as you can see, those hands aren't really working out, they're more working down. Okay? Down is usually the issue. Out. Okay. Okay. You're a low single digit handicap and we're trying to get you instead of doing that mm -hmm. to do more this. And I noticed in your demonstrations, just to kind of because this is I've hit some really good balls doing this. Uh, in your demonstrations, each time you show me the incorrect version of out going out with the shoulder, your head goes forward. Absolutely. In the demonstration. So the golf swing a lot of times I was saying it's it's usually like dissected in these 2D kind of uh, it's, it's, modalities exactly. or whatever, but it's it's something that I've always thought of my over the top move as a in a 2D kind of problem. So I was trying to drop it under and other things, but really it my over the top was just as much connected to the other 
in the 3D way, you know, my head and other things. So, and, that, and that's yeah. where a lot of this 3D stuff coming out is really opening people's eyes mm -hmm. to, you know, drawing 2D plane lines and, and living and dying by that. That generally doesn't help. So if you get nice and deep over here, mm -hmm. okay. Now deep, you mean this way, like that way? Correct. Okay, Correct. you're right. Mm -hmm. That depth is that way, yep. you know. So you have a tendency to go like this and like that. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we want is you to go like this. Uh, so then from here, you'll just be able to go. Nice right. Yeah. So, so if I make a nice deep so backswing. Take a backswing. Now, without, the big issue happens is when you get that big right, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now, from right there, let the hips go with it. Bring the hands out toward this position. Okay. Let the hips go with it. Gotcha. See? Yeah. That's, that's, good. that's what out is. Mm -hmm. yeah. As opposed to, go ahead, take it back again. Get your hands much higher and not as deep. Now, fire your hips around and have your hands go out that way. See, that's when you're going to start to get into a little bit of trouble yeah. and lead with the hosel. So I'm just making it back swing deep, and then I'm going kind of in this diagonal out. Exactly. With my hips out. Like, it's not like a disconnected throw. No, 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 no. It's just together. Because I have the one to go. Yes. Yeah. And if we're looking on the face on here, diagonal is the, the verbiage that I use. Yeah. You want to see the arms and hands work diagonally this way. Yeah. And that's what makes the shaft laid in. Right. Work diagonally forward. See? Now that's a sh Look at that. So now look. Yeah, the Deep divots yeah. to shallow divots. Let's hit some. Go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah, but like you said, the head back is... Yeah, it always has to work together. You start forgetting... You start doing all this kind of... Uh, in the weeds, complicated stuff. You can forget about this like thing that to me has got to be a top swing killer fundamental. Right. Almost, not almost. too bad. Yeah, almost, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, I that was I, pretty good. Yeah, I could feel my hands working on this diagonal thing. Right. about being over the top that like in our very first video we did I'd go like right this trying to right and all that would do is get me under here and then yeah no, no good your hips fire hard that's awesome but you got to get the arms linked up before the hips can take off there oh, you go so good there you go